سوالی It's not important to score very quickly. It's not important at all. So uh, even if for us the um, the ultimate thing is to score three times more than uh, than Celtic, uh, the timing of the first goal is not important at all. You can score halfway in the second half and still uh, go for it. So. Uh, you can open up everything in the beginning and say we're gonna we're gonna try to score in the first five minutes, and then I know the result already. We're gonna take a goal in the first five minutes, and then it's gonna be a double as hard. So uh, um, I can already predict what's gonna to happen tomorrow. We're gonna to come on the pitch. There will be noise all over. The crowd will put them uh, behind the team. They will uh, fly like hell on the pitch. So we're gonna to have to be ready because the start will be possibly devastating. So uh, that's going to be the start. If we survive, and we can manage to to get to, to pull the things level, then maybe we, we stand a chance to do something here. Celtic's uh, form traditionally at home uh, in the <coughs> is always very strong, but in recent times it's not been so good. It's been a long time since they've actually won here in the Champions League. Does that give you hope that perhaps they're not quite the force at home that they once were? They could have beaten Bayern. Eh? I saw the game, so they had a chance to beat Bayern. We also, we could have beaten Bayern. Um, I have to say, when you play against PSG, for the moment, I think uh, you cannot uh, talk about that team. Uh, but okay, Celtic stays a, a strong team, certainly at home, even if they won 0-3 in Anderlecht. Uh, I still believe that this team is, is, is much stronger at home with the public behind them than in the away game. So uh, it stays a very difficult task for uh, for any team from our level to come and take here uh, something. How much how, be how much better do you think you are now than when you played Celtic in Belgium? I don't know. I was not there. Mm -hmm. when, uh, well, I, I guess, how, I guess how, 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 you'll be obviously confident that they are better the players and the team is going to play better but I think we play differently I don't say we play better eh? I think we, we play differently but okay this is a way game eh? if now we could have uh, uh, received you to Brussels I would have said we make a good chance to win the game but we're in Glasgow so uh, that's a big difference as well for Celtic as for us okay. Okay. Je ne l'ai pas dit, j'ai répondu à un de vos questions. Ok, bah je formule. Alors, euh, j'ai le sentiment que vous avez au moment des problèmes d'efficacité, un, un moment très important où demain il faudra marquer trois fois, ça vous inspire quoi La question en anglais est, j'ai le feeling que vous struggling à ce moment de score des goals. Quelle est votre opinion sur ce à ce moment Je pense que nous avons. A problem to score goals in home games. Yeah. I think if you look at our away games, uh, the one we played in Mechelen, we scored four, in Open we scored three. In Muskrun and in uh, Lokeren, we scored two. Yeah. But in the home games, we have uh, apparently more difficulty to to score, and uh, we're playing away. So maybe that's uh, for us uh, favorable to be able to score maybe easier. <laughs> But on the other side, if you want to reach your goal, that means you need to score a lot, but you cannot take any goal, and that's going to be difficult also. Coach, 
You once went to Wolfsburg, 3-1 behind, and you said our chances... 2-3. 2-3? Three, 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 three. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And you, you said to your players the chances are zero. Yeah. Your players were a little bit surprised, and they want to show you the opposite. How do you talk to your dressing room tomorrow? I said that after the game, uh, the home game, eh? when we lost 2-3, that was also a knockout stage. Eh? So it's always different in a knockout stage than when uh, you're playing in a, in a competition. But okay, let's say that this situation is a little bit like a knockout eh? because uh, we lost all the games against the two other opponents. So that means what we expected maybe at the beginning at the draw of this group that the third place will be decided between on the left and Celtic. And then also when you see the result of the, of the, of the first <coughs> game, then you know that you made a very bad uh, performance by losing 0-3 at home. So. Let's say that the task is even more difficult maybe than, than it was then at that moment. Then I said it mostly because we made too many individual mistakes. And I repeated then also that if you're going to make the same mistakes, it is impossible to do anything. So uh, let's hope we don't make individual mistakes tomorrow. And then it's still possible. No, it stays very difficult. So as I said also, we have to come here and try to get to play a good game, try to get something. And that would already would already be really really well to get something in Celtic, but to get the the, the three goal difference to be able to to continue, then everything has to be perfect. And you you're gonna have to have all the luck of the world also, right? because efficiency will have to be 100%. On the other side, you will have to be lucky, so you don't take the goal. So let's say that the chances are really really small. What do you that's, not a, that's not our main goal also. Eh? I cannot go to the group and say we need to score and win with three goals difference. Then, then the guys are going to... We need to take it realistic and say let's go for a result. If you can win here, if you take a draw even, uh, for me, is a good result. Winning would be fantastic. What do you think of Celtic as a team and a long and beaten record domestically? But that shows again... Um, the quality of that team, as well here in, in Scotland, where they are by far the, the, the strongest team, um, but also in Europe, uh, apart from PSG, which was as well for us as for Celtic, uh, a team that was much too strong. I think we both both teams uh, almost managed to beat Bayern at home, so uh, that means that they are as, certainly as strong as we are. If, of course, you look at the, the first game, yeah, if you win 0-3 in Anderlecht, then you have to say that even Celtic is maybe better than us. Eh? So, we'll see uh, uh, tomorrow. Then, then, um, the coach was not there uh, Toi, You were suspended, but you were in the group. Do you estime that Anderlecht is better today than during the match? No, I'm sure we are better than the game we played at uh, home. Uh, Defensive, uh, we two easy goals, so uh, that killed us in, in the home. We, we lost 0-3 uh, home, uh, it will be difficult, but the, the opportunity we have, we want to take. If I can just bring in the question for um, one French speaker. Uh, the question was about the fact that during the first game, uh, the coach wasn't there yet, uh, and that his name was uh, suspended, so... Uh, are things going to be different? Yeah. Ending the, the Champions League with zero points, that would be a good, a good race. The uh, with zero points is not not a good uh, not a good competition. But okay, uh, we knew it would be very hard. We have a, a very tough uh, tough group. Um, and if you yeah you lose home against uh, against Celtic, which is also a good team, then you know it will be hard to take uh, points from other teams. So tomorrow we have a chance, a last chance to take something, and uh, let's hope uh, we play a good game and we take something. Sven, which uh, Celtic players impressed you in Brussels? I think it's a very very good team. Eh? They, um, 
they stand good as a team. They uh, they showed in our home game, but also here at home, I think, against Bayern. Um, you know, they they have a great atmosphere also in uh, in the stadium. But I think um, it's a good team, and we need to look out for for the team, not for individual players. Coach, can I quickly ask you about uh, Henry on the Kuru? There's been suggestions in England that Everton will recall him in general. Have you had any dialogue with him at all? Do you know anything about that? No, I, uh, I don't know, know nothing about it. I don't even know if it's. Uh, I don't think. I don't think it's it's uh, it's taken in the, in the agreement. So, uh, but I don't know nothing about it. Or uh, I don't think we had already the question. Or. Uh, so for the rest, I don't know nothing about the question for my board. Presumably, you want to hang on to him. Of course, yeah. I think we already don't have a lot of, of offensive players in in my squad. So uh, if he would be gone, uh, that means we, we really don't have any any offensive players left. For me. How big an impact are you hoping he makes tomorrow night? He's young. Huh? He's very young. He's talented. Um, okay, I think against uh, some teams. He had very difficult, uh, like in PSG, he really had difficult against PSG at home. He did very well, so we expected him maybe to to do the same in in Paris. But uh, there, uh, he wasn't in the game at all. So, uh, but okay, for a young guy, that's normal. He's gonna have good moments. He's gonna have difficult moments. So, we hope that tomorrow again he can show his qualities and he can be important for us. Thank you. Playing here at the Celtic Park is uh, something special, I think. Uh, seeing uh, YouTube uh, movies, the atmosphere, etc. Uh, do you know the atmosphere? You can answer in Dutch. The friendly participants will uh, translate. Dutch? Uh, yeah, so you have a lot of Celtic seasons, as you said, from the sphere and so. So, it will certainly be the time, that we know now. That the uh, public will be behind you and that the Ja, heel moeilijk dat zijn. Hè. Ik ga er vol knallen in het begin, dus ze uh, zullen uh, direct moeten staan en uh, niet te veel onder de indruk uh, dat, uh, dat anders kan lopen. Is dat echt een ploeg die daar een pro- last van kan ondervinden? Ja, eigenlijk zal dat niet mogen. Ik denk dat we gewoon, uh, allee, dat iedereen uh, bij ons al, uh, al een grote wedstrijd heeft gespeeld. We hebben uh, nu ook al in uh, Bayern gespeeld en in uh, PSG. Dus Sowieso uh, zal, zal de, de sfeer fantastisch zijn, maar misschien moeten we dat juist als motivatie nemen om, uh, om morgen nog uh, extra wat te gaan. Is de, is de oplossing dat niet zelf de bal hebben? Dan zullen ze automatisch wat stuur zijn. Ja, tot dan. Nee? Nee? Nee, ik ben ik ben ik ben ik ben ik ben ik ben ik So the first question was um, that the gentleman over there saw a lot of impressive YouTube uh, videos of this fine club, and he was referring to the great uh, atmosphere. We are ready, and uh, the key will be not to be impressed by this great atmosphere. Um, the other gentleman asked if it wasn't too difficult too difficult for uh, Anderlecht to be confronted with the atmosphere? No, because uh, we are used to play big games. We play Bayern, uh, PSG, PSG, so the atmosphere should be a motivation. And the third gentleman uh, suggested that we simply should have the ball, and uh, that's easier done than... Uh, said than done. Yeah, said than done. Easier said than done. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. Je crois que j'ai un grand cœur, j'espère que j'ai un grand cœur, parce que quelque part il y a l'espoir. Hein. Donc, réaliste pour savoir que ça va pas être évident du tout. Quel serait le facteur de... 
have a big heart. Um, I hope. I say. <laughs> <laughs> and in my heart, there's hope, uh, but I'm also very realistic, so I know uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. But we can dream, <coughs> but also remain realistic and, and, and see what happens tomorrow. Quel serait alors le secret d'un monde de succès? Yep. What, what would be the secret of, of uh, a potential uh, success tomorrow night? Il n'y a pas de secret. Hein. Je crois que j'ai tout dit déjà. J'ai dit que l'efficacité à 100% presque et en plus beaucoup de chance parce qu'il y aura certainement des moments où on va avoir des difficultés. Donc si là la réussite est avec nous euh, et de l'autre côté euh, on, est, on est énormément efficace, toutes les occasions qu'on a y rentrent. Alors peut-être ça, mais ça c'est pas un secret, hein, c'est la loi du football. There's no secret to it. Uh, we have to be efficient, 100% efficient. Uh, you also need a bit of luck. Um, it will be difficult. We know that it's going to be difficult. Therefore, you need a, a bit of luck uh, on your side. Uh, on your side, you just have to be efficient and make sure you score goals and you don't uh, lose goals. So, on the first question. Bien sûr, on est des sportifs, donc on croit toujours dans nos chances. Ok, c'est que ça va être difficile. Mais bon, on a une petite pour vouloir perdre. Hein. Nous, on veut aller, euh, on veut aller pour, euh, pour le maximum, mais on verra qu qu'est-ce qu que ça va donner demain. Um, as a sportsman, of course, uh, we know it's going to be uh, uh, but you have to have trust in yourself. Um, there is a small chance, you just have to take it. Um, having come here just um, to, to play the game and then lose, uh, so we take our chances and, and see what happens. Uh, either Celtic or Anderlecht will drop into the Europa League. Um, whichever team makes it, um, do you think they're well equipped to mount a serious challenge in that competition? I think there's, a, there's an enormous difference between the uh, Champions League and the Europa League. So I think every team that uh, falls, drops out of the Champions League can play a role in the Europa League. But of course, uh, you always depend on it, always depends on the, on the draw. If you're a little lucky in, in the draws, in the, in the knockout stage, you can go quite far. I think we showed it last year in Belgium with, uh, I think, two teams in the quarterfinal. Uh, what we beating with Ghent uh, Tottenham was, a, was a, uh, really uh, something special. But, um, yeah, I think you saw Ajax in the, in the final. Uh, I think uh, we played a friendly game uh, against Ajax in the beginning of the season and we beat them. So a Belgian team could have gone on also, I think, uh, as far. But okay, if you just hit the, 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 the top teams who are left in there, then maybe you go out already in the, in the 16. So uh, it depends on the draw. But I think every team that, that drops out has to believe in the possibilities to go far in the, in the Europa League. And Moussa, Moussa Dembele is fit again for Celtic. How do you assess his qualities, his threat? Okay, uh, it's always uh, for us. I never, I never, I'm never pleased with players that are injured. Eh? But for us, uh, it would have been good if some players were missing. Uh, but okay, he's back. So for them, uh, for him, it's a good thing. I always like that players can play. And, uh, okay, we're going to have to manage, uh, watch out for him, and. and um, yeah, look at, at, at uh, the danger he can bring. Uh, but okay, as, as Sven said also, there's much more than Moussa Dembele in, uh, in Celtic. Yeah? So the danger can come from, from different sides. So uh, we're going to have to put in a really general good, uh, good game to, uh, to get something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.